Ah, the supreme supervisor or the Christ consciousness, God's consciousness in his creation, plus the cosmic architect, the cosmic astral engineer, and the cosmic builder. These have charge of creating the macrocosmic universes. The cosmic architect has charge of the cosmic causal universe, the universe of waves of ideas. The cosmic astral engineer has charge of the cosmic astral universe, the universe of light of which I have spoken, and finer forces. And then we have the cosmic builder who has charge of building the cosmic physical universe. Now we also have the last three of the seven angels before the throne of God. We have the creator of human consciousness, which has charge of the causal universe within us as the microcosmic creation. We also have the astral body engineer who rules over our astral body. And last, we have the gross body builder who has charge of our physical bodies as we know them. So we should remember that these, these six architects, engineers, and builders, plus the supervisor of all, or the Christ consciousness, are emanation from the one cosmic consciousness, God the Father. Now these six angels have materialized from the blueprint the six vibratory creation, as I have named, the cosmic creation of ideas, the causal universe, the cosmic astral universe, the cosmic physical universe, and then the creator of human consciousness, our own astral, our own consciousness of ideas, the causal consciousness, our own spiritual or astral body, and finally, our gross body as we understand it. These, remember, are the six vibratory creations, and they make up the Holy Ghost, cosmic consciousness plus its vibration. Now comes the question, where do I come in in this blueprint? The blueprint calls for man to be made in our likeness, in our image. We read in Genesis, the first chapter, the 26th verse, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Now, when it says, let us make man, it means, let the superior supervisor and the six architects, engineers, and builders make man in the image of the macrocosmic creation. Or we are made in miniature, we have the whole macrocosmic creation in miniature right within us. God saw fit to create man not only in his image, but according to the images and the plans worked out by his seven angels. 
Now, these angels, remember, are those which control the different creations. And so, these seven got together, so to speak, and made man. And then, as you will remember your Bible, then they made woman from his rib, which simply means they vibrated woman. A friend of mine asked me if I knew the reason why God created man first. I said, no, what was it? Well, he said, God and his angels created man first because they didn't want too many suggestions and too much advice when they created man. And so we are not only blueprinted in God's unmanifested aspect, but also in his manifested aspect. Man has all creation within himself in miniature. That is an important point. We must never forget it. Because of this, we can know the blueprint of creation and the creations themselves, not only in theory, but we can make them dynamic to our consciousness. As the Master said, know not only about the atom, but get inside of it and be in the atom. And so, the blueprint of creation can be experienced because we are made in the image of God. We can know our physical bodies, of course. But then we can make our astral bodies, our spiritual bodies of light, dynamic to our consciousness. And we can go beyond the creation of light and know the consciousness beyond creation, the consciousness of God the Father. And yes, we can go even beyond that to the unmanifested spirit itself. Because we can feel that at times right within us, the ever-conscious, ever-new joy. And so we first have to know this miniature universe which we are. Knowing that, knowing the soul within, then we can expand it into the great macrocosmic creation and into God the Father and Spirit itself. We have to be one with the miniature universe within ourselves and then by an expansion of consciousness, expand, expand it into the great ocean of spirit. Remember, we must not be satisfied with this blueprint of creation in theory only, but by realization. We must make a concentrated effort. We can do it because we are created in the image of God. As the Bible says, I say ye are God, children of the Most High. 